Hey everybody, welcome to SI.com. I'm David Gardner here with college basketball senior writer Luke Wynn. Luke, every year the focus in college basketball is on the freshmen, and this year particularly is a very talented group, led at the top by our top projected freshman scorer in Markel Fultz. What is it about Fultz stepping into this role on a Washington team that lost a lot of NBA talent last year that's going to make him such an impact freshman this year? Well, one, there is a ton of opportunity. I mean, there, are, there isn't a lot of competition to take shots at Washington this year, but Fultz is also not just elite freshman, but possibly the number one pick in the next NBA draft. The kind of point guard who could score, create, rebound. His stat lines are going to be huge. I mean, he's a guy who can actually put up triple doubles a few times this season. I would not be shocked to see that happen like the way it did with Ben Simmons last year. And he also plays on a high tempo team. He's a guy who could have nights where he, you know, 20 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. The number two on our projected scorers among freshmen is Jason Tatum of Duke. He comes in with an incredible freshman class and is also on a team with Grayson Allen. How is he going to manage to be such an impact player? Yeah, he's not going to be the number one option for Duke. It's, if you join a team with Grayson Allen, you have to defer to him a little bit. But as we saw with Brandon Ingram last year, there's room for a second excellent score on Duke. Jason Tatum's that guy. He can score at three levels. He has kind of a more advanced mid-range game than you see from a lot of freshmen. And Duke's going to give him the freedom, I think, to take shots and create. Next on our list is a guy from Freshman University, Kentucky, and it's Malik Monk. You've talked about him in previous videos. He seems to be one of the early stars in the college basketball season. Seems like he'll have a pretty quick transition. Yeah, Kentucky has a lot of top-to-bottom talent, but I think they only have one true, pure elite scorer, and that's Malik Monk, who has a, a long track record of being that guy in AAU uh, basketball. We actually implemented EYBL advanced stats into our projection system this year, and Malik Monk looks even better once you do that in combination with his recruiting rankings. So we see him as a guy who can lead Kentucky in scoring and possibly even be the SEC Player of the Year. The freshman who came in with probably the most hype this year is the number one overall recruit. He's Josh Jackson. He's playing for Kansas. Bill Self has kind of brought along freshmen a little bit slowly, probably more slowly than those freshmen have wanted and certainly more slowly than the fans have wanted. Uh, what is it about Josh Jackson that's going to put him on the court right away? Well, I think that when you had a, when Bill Self had a guy like Andrew Wiggins, he didn't hold him back. He played huge minutes. Uh, he was the key guy in that offense. And Josh Jackson, I think, will have a Wiggins-like role. He'll play that much. He'll be able to score from the wing. Yeah, you've got to share points with Frank Mason and Devontae Graham, but we still project Josh Jackson to be Kansas' leading scorer. When you have that athleticism from the wing, he's not like an elite shooter, but he can do everything else plus play high-level defense, and I think that's going to keep him on the court. And our last player in the top five is Dennis Smith, and he's from another school in the Triangle, but it's not North Carolina. It's North Carolina State for Mark Gottfried. What does Dennis Smith do for the Wolfpack? Dennis Smith, it's pretty wild. I mean, our projections have him putting up numbers that are similar to what Chris Paul did as a freshman at Wake Forest. I'm not saying he has, he's going to have Chris Paul's career, <laughs> but he's an excellent point guard with kind of a, a great first step. He can also distribute. We look at him being able to take over the point from day one at NC State, play big minutes, and he's actually going to be in contention for that number one pick with Markel Fultz, too. It's not a done deal that Fultz is going to be the number one. I think if Dennis Smith comes back from missing his entire senior year of high school with an injury and plays incredibly well, uh, he'll be in that conversation. To see our full list of the top scoring freshmen in the country and to see the rest of our college basketball preview, stay right here on SI.com. For Luke Wynn, I'm David Gardner. Thanks for watching.